an Israeli cultural task force has been established to determine whether any artwork stolen by the Nazis from Jews now sits in Israeli museums. It is reported that hundreds of paintings and sculptures may be on display illegally within galleries in the Jewish state. In the 1950s, many pieces of art taken by the Nazi regime were transported to Israeli museums after they were located by German authorities or discovered hidden in storage facilities. However, there has been no systemic hunt for those who previously owned the captured artwork. International and domestic law requires Israel to identify the previous owners of Nazi confiscated art and restore it to them or their relatives. If they cannot be identified, the art should be sold in order to provide funding to charities supporting victims of the Holocaust. Recently, German authorities faced criticism for failing to quickly hand back seized Jewish artwork. Some 1,500 pieces of art, including works by Matisse and Picasso, worth over 1 billion euros in total, were found in a Munich flat. But for two years, the authorities failed to inform the Jewish community.